June is Men's Health Month. Today in Family Health, we're focusing on prostate issues. Enlarged prostate is very common, especially as a man gets older. The condition makes common tasks much more difficult. Recently, I watched a new procedure that involves a robot to help shrink the prostate in a minimally invasive fashion. The medical name is benign prostatic hyperplasia, but it's better known as enlarged prostate. Approximately half of men in their 50s and as many as 90% of men in their 70s and 80s suffer with this condition. We're talking about something that is interfering with the quality of a person's life, aren't we? Absolutely. BPH, or benign prostatic hyperplasia, affects almost 15 million American men. And this disease affects their quality of life. It doesn't allow them to sleep properly, it doesn't allow them to work properly, and their daily life is affected because they're always chained to a bathroom. It used to be men would either take prescription medication for life that carries significant side effects or undergo major surgery to treat BPH. But at Anova Alexandria Hospital, Dr. Sandy Bagla is using a new minimally invasive procedure, robotic prosthetic artery embolization. It's done with little to no sedation. Dr. Bagla, an interventional radiologist, begins the procedure by inserting a catheter guided under x-ray through just one needle hole in the top of the leg. How much time does a patient have to spend in the hospital after the procedure? About two hours after the procedure, they're able to get up, urinate, and then walk home. Dr. Bagla says by three weeks, 90% of men will notice a significant improvement. Is this a one-time procedure to treat this, or if something happens and the prostate becomes enlarged again, can they come back for this? Sure. So initially, obviously, the intent is one time because we want a long-time result from the procedure. But of course, if a gentleman does live long enough and the prostate grows again over some time, then absolutely they could undergo the procedure again in the future. Join me later today during the noon newscast. I'll talk live with prostate cancer specialist Dr. Samir Kanani from Inova about the many different ways to treat prostate cancer. And he'll tell us if an enlarged prostate means a higher risk for prostate cancer.